Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Atomic Aquatics Z3 regulator. Um, now, obviously I don't have one with me um, because local lockdowns, we can't go back and forwards, I can't go to the warehouse, um, physically get one. They are available on the website, they are in the warehouse, it's just I can't go backwards and forwards to um, sort of touching and feeling everything. Um, but as soon as things are a little bit better and as uh, we can go back to filming as normal, uh, then yeah, I'll just do another version of this with the regulator so you can physically see it. Um, but we're gonna do the best that we can and um, yeah, I can certainly describe the regulator to you and uh, sort of whether it's worth sort of looking at. So the Z3 is very much kind of the, the budget regulator in the Atomic Aquatics range. Um, it does have lots of sort of fancy features all over it. It's just, it's not made out of solid titanium or anything. Um, but it does have lots of nice features that are gonna make your diving that much more comfortable. So taking a closer look at the first stage, the first stage itself, this has two high pressure ports, which is nothing unusual. Most first stages have two high pressure ports for your gauges. Um, uh, but at the other end, it actually has seven uh, low pressure ports for your regulators and your low pressure inflator hoses. Now, this isn't expecting you to have seven hoses coming all at once. It's more to make your hose routing that much easier. Because if you have a limited number of uh, sort of low pressure ports, it kind of limits where those hoses can be routed out of your first stage. So it's quite nice to have that kind of range so that, oh, actually, no, it'd be nice if it came out at this angle. So they're just increasing uh, your sort of customizability and your hose routing ability. Now this is a, a factory sealed um, first stage, so it actually has a, a silicon ring around it and that's gonna prevent uh, anything from sand and algae and salt crystals from getting into the first stage. Um, so it's effectively environmentally sealed. Moving down to the second stage, the Z3 is um, the sort of upgraded version of the Z2. So this actually has a black PVD coated swivel. So there's a swivel joint on the end of the hose, which just allows that second stage just to rotate a little bit. So as you turn, it's just going to uh, sort of bend that hose uh, without uh, sort of putting too much strain on the hose. It also means it can rotate as well. So it, it just makes for a much more comfortable dive. And it also reduces jaw fatigue as well because you don't have to bite down on the uh, on the mouthpiece quite as much um, because your hose is kind of pulling you around. With that swivel joint, it's much more natural and it's much softer so you don't feel that you have to hold on to the second stage quite as much. Now the second stage is nice and lightweight because that has uh, sort of titanium parts in it, uh, which are of course much lighter, they're much stronger, but they're also corrosion resistant. Uh, decent purge button on the front, but uh, one of the well, my favorite features about it is it has the AFC system, which is like a automatic Venturi lever. Instead of having a on off switch to uh, sort of interrupt a free flow, this one is automatic. So it basically has a uh, like a fin on the inside, which as the airflow starts to increase, if a, um, if a free flow was to occur, it actually changes the position and then redirects the airflow. So effectively, it automatically stops free flow. So that's very, very fancy. Um, you also have a breathing adjustment knob so you can adjust exactly how uh, sort of easy it is to break that um, that seal so it's a little bit easier to breathe or if you prefer a bit stiffer you can dial it in so it's a bit stiffer to open up that valve. That little valve also has a, a clever mechanism on the inside, they call it a seat saving device. So when the regulator isn't pressurized, it actually takes the strain off of that uh, kind of spring so that seat doesn't actually bed in and that means that uh, basically you don't need to service your regulators quite as often. Um, if you do like wash your regulators um, and they're not pressurized, that's not an issue. The regulator is gonna notice that by the sort of water flow, and that's gonna close that um, sort of seat again. Uh, but yeah, for storage and especially long-term storage, it's quite good to relieve that uh, sort of pressure. And that also increases the service time. So you only have to get these regulators serviced about every two years or 300 dives. Um, which is much better than a lot of regulators which are one year or 100 dives. So that's just sort of Atomic Aquatics, they're that confident in their materials and uh, sort of how they built their, uh, their regulator in that they're like, actually, you can wait a little bit longer between the surface intervals. It's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's good for you because it, uh, it reduces the, the running costs of the regulators. So all in all, 
a really nice regulator. Uh, whether you're diving it at home or if you're a traveling diver, it's not a particularly heavy regulator. Um, as far as downsides, the only downside that I can think of is that replacing that hose can be a little tricky because you do have that swivel joint. So it means that you have to replace it with almost exactly the same hose. Um, but other than that, that's about it. Um, yeah, there, there aren't that many sort of downsides. The only other thing that is kind of nitpicking is on the first stage. Um, I might put a, a swivel turret on that, but it's not a deal breaker for me. Um, all in all, it's a really, really nice regulator and at a sensible price point as well. Um, yeah, there's also the uh, the Z2, which is very much the same, but it doesn't have the um, the, sort of the black PVD coating, the same styling as the uh, the Z3, which is like a step up, which makes it a bit stronger and uh, also gives it that um, uh, sort of aesthetic to it. So that's the Atomic Z3 regulator. Very smart. Um, yeah, I definitely like it. There's not that much that I can sort of pick fault in it. Um, it is a very, very smart regulator and definitely worth the look. Um, they're of course available on our website, simplyscuba.com. Thank you for watching and safe diving.